and welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be all about our little girl right here. I've been getting so many questions about her anytime I post her on my Instagram. So I kind of thought I would do a little video and it's been so highly requested. So I kind of thought I would film a little bit about her. Now I'm not going to film this about pygmy hedgehogs in general. So if you want a video about the care process then let me know and I will definitely film one. What are you doing? So one of the questions I get asked a lot is what kind of a hedgehog is she? Now she is an African pygmy. She is so grumpy right now because she would love to be sleeping and I'm not letting her because I want to film a video with her. A lot of people ask what her name is. Her name is Samantha. She is licking my Pandora ring. So before we actually got her, my mom asked my brother, she was like, what would you call the hedgehog? And my brother was like, well, I'd call it something short. So Sam if it's a boy and Samantha if it's a girl. And me and mom cried our eyes out laughing. We thought it was hilarious because Samantha is not a short name. And we thought it was so funny. So ever since then, we were kind of like, oh, like when are we getting Samantha and all of this. So we did end up just calling her Samantha. The next question that I get asked a lot is how old is she? Now she is six months old currently. We got her when she was four months and we've had her for two months already. She is a little rascal and she likes running around. She likes playing. She already knows all of our little corners and anytime you put her on the ground, she doesn't slow walk anymore, she speed walks. I also get a lot of questions asking what does she eat. Now pygmy hedgehogs are usually fed cat food. That's what we feed her. We feed her good quality cat food and we also give her some mealworms and all of that because they love their mealworms. Now I don't feel comfortable feeding them to her because I hate bugs and insects but we get the ones that are dead already so my dad does that. She is just full of personality, aren't you? Now also I would like to mention a few things about her at night time. She is the noisiest thing ever so if you are a light sleeper and you are thinking about getting a pygmy hedgehog it would be best to keep them in a isolated room like where you're not going to hear her because I used to keep her in my room and then my brother kept her in his room and none of us could get any sleep because she is so noisy. Her wheel used to be a silent wheel but it's not a silent wheel anymore because she has run on it so much that it's just not silent anymore so you can hear her at night constantly. You can hear her chew, you can hear her drink, you can hear her running around. So most of the time we take out her wheel at night because she runs on it so much that her little paws or claws start to bleed. So we take it out sometimes just to let her little paws heal. We do keep her in an IKEA storage box. It's one of those big ones. I'll link it down below. It was only like 11 euro and that's what most people keep their pygmy hedgehogs in anyway. And it's the perfect size for her because it is quite big so she's got room. I also get to ask about her like personality. Does she bite? Uh, does she does she spike up? Now she's really good. When we first got her she was impossible to hold because her spikes were constantly up. But the more we kind of got used to her and the more she got used to us, she's really good. She always keeps her spikes down. Now, when we first got her, she did end up biting me and I was bleeding for quite a while because they do have really sharp teeth. So, you kind of have to be careful for the first while. If she smells food on your hands, she's going to bite you. Now, another thing that I noticed what made her bite me was the fact that I used to wash my hands with really, really nice scented soap. So, anytime she'd smell my hands, she'd instantly go for the bite because she liked the smell. Now she does have really poor eyesight and if you have a pygmy hedgehog you have to kind of look after them quite a bit because they have bad eyesight and they rely on their sense of smell. Are you getting hungry? If you are aren't you? Now we haven't weighed her yet but it is a good idea to weigh them just so they don't become obese or anything like that because that is a huge problem with pygmy hedgehogs and yeah. 
the other question that I get asked a lot is how much was she? Now, she was a Christmas present for us, but Pygmy Hedgehogs usually range anywhere around 200 euro, which is quite expensive. So those are all the questions that I get asked about my little Pygmy Hedgehog. Now, if you've got any more questions, don't forget to ask me and I will answer them. Those are just some of my most asked ones that I get asked nearly every single day. And I kind of thought why not film a video and also show her because she is so cute, aren't you? Yes, you are. So yeah, guys. Also, if you want me to film her little caged her, let me know and I will. So if you enjoyed this video, guys, don't forget to leave a huge thumbs up down below and don't forget to subscribe if you're new. <laughs> Say bye. And yeah, I will see you all in my next one. So bye. bye.